All right. Hello, everybody. Quick little video on my 2006 Honda Ridgeline, which I've owned since new. Now it's my son's daily driver. It's got 200,000 miles on it, and it's been a uh, trouble-free truck for its entire life. Probably one of the most reliable vehicles I've ever owned. Um, it's been maintained by a local mechanic. We've had the timing belt done twice. Many sets of wear items like brakes. The suspension's been redone. Again, very, very reliable vehicle. Until the Honda recall started to happen. And this is a quick little video to show you uh, why I don't like going to the dealership. So, we've had a couple of recalls on this truck. Both airbags, the heater blower motor, and then the internal door parts. So I had the first airbag recall done at a local dealer and they did a fine job. Uh, problem started with the second airbag recall. And we'll go into the details of that in a minute. Okay, inside the truck and here's where it gets annoying. First airbag recall, no problems. Second air, airbag recall, passenger one over here. After we had it done, we had this terrible rattle from inside the dashboard. And my son drives a truck every day and he listens to the music loud, didn't really notice it until one day I was in here. And there's obviously something loose. I didn't want to take the dashboard apart, so we brought it back to the dealership to have whatever was wrong fixed. And it was basically a bolt that they left loose. While I was there, we had the heater blower motor recall done. Um, after sitting there for three hours waiting for these two things to be done, we come home and now the defroster doesn't work. So we're going to take a quick look and figure out what's going on there. So here we are inside the glove box. Right? So hopefully everybody knows how to remove the glove box. Pretty straightforward. And from what I've read from people who have this problem, the dealers get these green connectors wrong. So I noticed here's a green connector with a lot of wires on it. And then there's one up here. Hard to see. I disconnected it. That goes to this directional motor, I guess. And this is ri was ridiculously tight, barely plugged in. In fact, you can see the harness connectors here just floating in the air. So something obviously wrong there. We're going to switch them. Okay, back. So I've noticed that when I switch them to have the three-wire one down here and the multiple wire up there, all of a sudden, everything works the way that it's supposed to. And in fact, now there's some slack in the wiring harnesses and these actual little strain relief things can plug in where they're supposed to. So Honda dealer, thanks for nothing. I'm not coming back.